This is Michael Swain, Executive Director of Freedom of Religion South Africa for SA, with an important update. As you are no doubt aware, government announced that it has lifted the state of national disaster with effect from midnight on April the 4th, but nothing of consequence has changed for the religious community. In his speech to the nation, the president noted that in the context of a free and open democratic society, the additional powers that a state of disaster provide are temporary and limited. They should be maintained, he said, only as long as they are absolutely necessary. He acknowledged that although the virus continues to circulate, it is not causing the same levels of severe illness that requires hospitalization or the same number of deaths. And these conditions no longer require, he said, that we remain in a national state of disaster. Nevertheless, the state seems determined to continue regulating our lives because he went on to state that the Disaster Management Act provides that certain elements of the regulations may remain in place for a limited period for post-disaster recovery and rehabilitation. And following this, Minister Lamini Zuma promptly gazetted further transitional regulations which will remain in place for 30 days until midnight on Wednesday the 4th of May. Now, for the religious communities, whose right to gather together has been severely limited since day one of the state of disaster, these transitional regulations mean that medical apartheid will continue to be enforced. Gatherings are still restricted to a maximum of 1,000 people, regardless of the size of venue, if you cannot show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test taken more than 72 hours before. And even if you do provide such proof, only 50% of the capacity of a venue can be used and masks must be worn at all times indoors. Only a maximum of 2,000 people can meet outdoors without such certificates, subject to one metre social distancing. Forasay's view is that these transitional regulations unjustifiably infringe upon human rights generally, and in particular upon our rights to religious freedom in Section 15 of the Constitution. The state of disaster has been ended precisely because COVID-19 is no longer seen as a severe threat to public health. The state can no longer show, therefore, that it requires extraordinary powers to take exceptional measures to curb its spread and flatten the curve. Having carefully considered the provisions of the Disaster Management Act, Forasay also views the Minister's continued regulation of society using this Act as ultra vires and therefore unlawful. This is because the Act only grants the Minister authority to make regulations if a state of disaster is declared. To be clear, once a state of disaster is formally ended, the Minister is no longer empowered by the Act to make any further regulations. In fact, the Act expressly states that if no state of disaster is declared, then government must deal with a national disaster only in terms of existing legislation and contingency arrangements, and these cannot be augmented by regulations or directions. There is clearly therefore no justifiable legal, scientific or logical reason for these severe limitations on religious freedom rights to continue for one more day. For this reason, it is more important than ever before that everyone sends in a submission to object to the draft health regulations before the deadline of Friday 15 April. If we fail to make our voices heard, these new health regulations will simply take over when the transition leave regulations expires. An unaccountable executive will then have the power to control every aspect of our lives and society permanently and definitely through regulations issued by the Minister of Health. This is not only a severe erosion of our religious freedom rights, but in a very real sense, it's the death of our democracy. To make your submissions, go to the 4sa.org.za website and click the link to the DRSA platform or download the text template submission for an individual or an organisation and email it directly to the Minister of Health using the email address provided. Links are provided in the descriptions below this video. Let's stand together for faith and freedom. Good day. This is Daniela Ellerbeck, the Legal Advisor to Freedom of Religion South Africa. Remember to like and share this video and then click on the subscribe button to make sure you never miss our video updates on vital religious freedom issues.